Hey there YouTubers, Jordan the Mind Sculptor here again with another video. This one not as sad, but a bunch of people have been asking me, how do you take a foil off of a foil card? And like, how do you take, it, take the picture off so you can draw stuff on it and everything? See, I just have a... Hold on one second. I just have like a... Ballistrade strayed spy. So, you know, any foil will work. What you're going to want to do is... Take acetone. See how this says 100% acetone, which is nail polish remover. I mean, you know, buy this for a dollar twenty at the dollar store or something. Really cheap and really easy. So what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to have this, a cutting board or something. You know, I use a cutting board. Um, just an old rag, and acetone. So I always pour the acetone in this little lid. It makes we can have easier. What I do is I take the corner and just kind of let the acetone soak into it. And then I just kind of dab it a little bit. You know, you move in circles around the foil. If you don't do it right, sometimes the whole foil comes off, which is really lame. So you have to be careful not to press too hard, but you still have to press hard enough where you're getting the picture off. So. And you can clearly see that the foil, the picture is coming off without the foil. So, the reason why I do these, these foils or whatever, is for my assigned foil or whatever. It's for people who have helped me out in my real life not just in the magic community or whatever so this video here goes out to mtg headquarters so if you're watching this um pm me your address and i'll send you one just like i sent one to mtg mcclacks um you will be the second one to ever receive these because you were the second person to ever help me out <laughs> so you know even if you don't no, you did. You did. Just in my real everyday life. So, what you're doing is the borders are the hardest part because you have to try not to get the acetone on the back. If you can see that. See, you try not to get it on the back so it doesn't whiten around the edges on the back. When you foil it, it shouldn't start looking like that or whatever. See how I got this side clear? Um, you know, and just go until all the foil is removed. <laughs> I'm trying to make this video kind of fast for you guys so you don't get bored. <laughs> um, like I said before, make sure not to press too hard, or the f foil will come off with the paper. It's not a maybe thing, it will come off, which really sucks. And once you waste a foil, you're just like, no, no, that's so dumb. So, I normally attack the middle and then kind of work my way out to the borders and then work my way back into the middle. Because the middle is the easiest part and the borders are the hardest. So... Once you get a feel for it, you should be able to do it pretty fast and pretty accurately. And don't worry about getting acetone on your fingers unless you're wearing fingernail polish or something. Because it doesn't kill you or anything, it's just acetone. So you can get it on your hands. It may not smell the greatest. It smells like freaking paint removal because it is. <laughs> so
and now I'm just cleaning it off and stuff. But whatever I left on there. You can see clearly that at the beginning of the video, this was a bolster something spy gate crash, and now it's just a pretty little flaw that will be sent to MTG headquarters when CPMs me his address. Not just the foil, I'm gonna like. If you guys haven't seen my video, um, the one that I sent to MTG McQuax, you should go check it out. I'll put it in the description down below or whatever, so that you can guys can see the finished project product. Um, this one is to you, MTG my headquarters. So, um, PM me and I will let you know. I'll send it out and everything. Um, so. Like, comment, subscribe if this video helped you at all. Um, I know was three people have asked me how to take foil off of a foiling, so this hopefully will help them. And if you know how, um, thanks for watching anyway. <laughs> so, see you guys later.